Hey everybody, this is Kevin. I'm with Bohemian Interactive Simulations. Today we're going to use VBS4 as a navigation trainer. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently in the editor, and the first thing to do to help train people in navigation is place the trainees down. So I'm just going to select unit and double click where I want my trainees to start. I'm just going to put a couple of them, put four. Uh, and the first thing with a navigation trainer is we're going to want to give them some sort of uh, ability to shoot an azimuth uh, and get a distance. So I'm just going to switch to objects and I'm going to put some flags down. So I'm just going to search for flag. Let's put, I don't know, a, a red one and a yellow one. And there are my flags. What I want to do now is I want to for scenario creation purposes, get ranges and bearings to these flags. Let me spread them out a little bit more just so uh, they're not so close. There we go. And what I can do now is in the 2D map, I can go down to the measure distance tool, or I can go to tools and press measure distance. This pulls up a menu on the bottom right, allowing me to double click and that'll give me a range and bearing to an object. I can click once and it'll stop. Or if I hold down shift and keep clicking, it will give me a continuous range and bearing to an object. The difference between the colors, uh, the red one means that from this point to this point, there is no line of sight, meaning something's blocking it. But from this point to this point, there is a clean cut uh, line of sight to that. So now what I can do is I can tell my trainees, hey, go to the flag that has a range of 72 meters at 20 degrees. And that would either tell them to go, that will, using the compass, which we'll take a look in a second, that will tell them which flag to go to. So once I've got my ranges and bearings, I can press H as in preview. And now we can take a look at this from the trainee perspective. So uh, in this case, what I can do is just like uh, in the squad video, I can shoot, move, and communicate, but for right now, we're not going to worry about that. Pressing the G as in golf key will bring up this compass interface, and you can see that I can use this to shoot a bearing to the flag. So I can tell my instructor, hey, I've got a flag at, you know, 70 meters, uh, bearing of 18 degrees. That is essentially all we need to do for that. Now, what you can do is you can also modify this in real time. So I'm now going to switch from training mode to administrator mode. And we have a lot of different tools there. So in this case, what I can do is I can uh, do real-time uh, distance and range. So in this case, just double click, I can see how far my trainees are. But I also have tools to visualize uh, who's looking where, where they're coming from, as well as other, th uh, other parameters to ensure I know who, which trainee is doing what and how I can help them as an instructor. So I'm going to give one of these guys a waypoint and you can see, I can see his trail. So if I saw someone going in circles, that may be an indication that person needs a little more assistance or guidance. Uh, you see over here, I covered this in the vehicle video, uh, but there's an ink blot that grows when they are standing still. So at a glance, I know who's been standing stationary longest. So these two guys have stand lo uh, been stationary longer than this guy has. And this guy has just recently stopped. So you can see the ink blot is getting larger. All of these can be tweaked in the view menu. So I can change the trails, I can change the ink spot settings, I can change the field of view settings, so that as an instructor, I, I can know which trainee needs the most assistance. Hopefully this gave you a quick little overview of how VBS4 can be used to help train and ensure uh, navigation skills are built and facilitated. Uh, thank you for your time. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach us out reach out to us on our website. Thank you.